good anytime my fuzzies to a quick review of a game I just finished. All opinions in this video are mine and my alone, so just please enjoy and don't take them too seriously. Thank you. Good anytime my fuzzies and welcome to the review portion of Chibi Robo. Uh, let me just say Chibi Robo was a delight to play start to finish. It was a really fun way of going about it and whatnot. And I've also decided going forward I probably won't do ratings. Oh, I'll see. Um, I'll try not to do ratings and just go off of just how I feel and how I'll do ratings. Makes it more clear about my intent and whatnot. But anyways, so let's start with probably the best aspect of Chibi Robo being the characters. The characters were very, uh, there were a lot of them. I think over 20 in the end. 20 different characters. They all looked different. They all had different motives, wants, needs for you to do and complete. And they had their own interesting quirks and whatnot that made the game very fun to play and the quests very entertaining. Um, so for characters, it's a five for me. Hands down, I don't think there was anyone really lacking. They all had their own special unique quirks and whatnot. And it just made me, it, it was fun just exploring and getting to know them and whatnot. And there's also, I didn't do it in my videos, but you can go to them with the different costumes and talk to them and they give you different responses. You can uh, talk to them just when their mission's done, they have more stuff. There's just a lot of character there and whatnot. And the missions were good and whatnot from them. So definitely a five for me. They were the perfect, amount, there was a perfect amount of characters. There was nothing about their characters that I overly hated. They all kind of was good, meshed together, and gave a good variety to them. Uh, next up, we'll go setting. The setting, again, it's in a house. Besides their... No, I, I didn't even really look around. Them. I should have looked around. <laughs> Oof. Excuse me. I should have looked around during the end of the video. But yeah, there's no bathroom. Which I get, but it's very weird. Uh, but the setting, it was good. It was very good. There was a lot to do. Every room, every room felt unique, with unique areas to go explore and find stuff. Um, you didn't have to go everywhere, but there was enough to do. And even when exploring, there was coins in certain areas that you go to to give you an incentive to go there. There was garbage, which can give you coins and happiness points. There's the chibi robo doors. There's the frog uh, rings. There's just random items and whatnot. And there, it was varied. Like I said, there's the living room, kitchen, foyer, up and down, bathroom, backyard, uh, and then Jenny's room and the parents' room. So overall, it was good. It was big enough that it was big enough that there was a lot to go and explore and look at, but not too big where you would spend so much time going from one area to another that it just kind of like, yeah. It just was too much. So again, spoiler, or no surprise, I'm going to give it a 5. It was the perfect amount of room for what you needed to do. Everything had an area you could go on. You could go anywhere you really wanted. And it was just very nice, tight, concise. And just a lot of good areas and stuff to look at. They were full of little things. Like the, the uh, Giga Robo picture in the living room and whatnot. And even the art supplies in the parents' room and whatnot. That you also saw when you went to the past. Um... Next, we'll go to story. Story. There was a lot of story. <laughs> a lot of the characters had their own story arcs going on that you had to do for them. So, again, it it was good. This, Although weird, but I think that's kind of a uh, Japanese type of thing where they have a lot of weird humor and whatnot. But I liked it. It was a lot of good humor, a lot of good stuff like that. So, uh, even the main story of just helping out the family, finding Giga Robo, and then, you know, you're like, oh, okay, I'll help him. And that progresses the story. It didn't force you into that conclusion, or it pointed you to that conclusion because you heard the noise in the basement and you would go explore anyways. But it's also very much a game where I feel like you would explore naturally no matter what. So, like, yeah. So even if it didn't prompt you to, ooh, there's some noise coming from the basement, I should go check down there. I feel like if you're in the game to like explore and clean everything you could, you would find it naturally on your own. Uh, and then basically the story of just getting that full, destroying the marriage by bringing up the report, 
and then having to uh um oh what was it and then you had to fix the marriage and have in the husband came clean and whatnot like weird weird that you had to destroy them help destroy the marriage to fix it again but all is well in the end um my thing is they didn't i guess they kind of like accepted a lot of the stuff instead of like talking about hey my problems with everything going on is this this and this and making compromises i guess the husband kind of like said yeah i'll help out more which is good on him and like they found out oh he wasn't fired from his job he was uh he quit on his own fruition which is weird why he wouldn't just tell them that but whatever i'm not him um yeah that's that I feel could have been better story wise for the main story wise it was kind of like destroying the marriage to get it back together but the problem is if you're with someone and you don't like something about them if you don't talk about it that's when trouble can happen you need to talk it out and whatnot and like it didn't feel like she did that at all maybe she brought it up once or twice but she kind of mumbled to herself and talked to chibi robo and then wrote the letter and said yeah I'm going to get a divorce if you don't uh, sh shape up. Which is not the right way to go about it. You Again, it's communication. Go to therapy and whatnot if you have issues. Um, besides the main story in that, which ended well in the end, I guess. There was, like, the other characters' mini stories, side quests and whatnot. Again, were just very nice, concrete, weird in a lot of ways. But, like, overall it was it was good. I like the side stories. They were fun to have in there. You don't need to do them, but they were fun to have there and whatnot. Uh, the only one thing I didn't like, as I've made very clear in my thing, was the, uh, you know, I'll include it with story because you kind of need it for completion and whatnot, but the uh, the Space Gambler minigame. It just felt really cheap and unfair where you have to, like, get it precise. And, like, this is this game... I feel it can be for any age, but definitely for a younger demographic than I am. And, like, to sit there, play the play that mini game, and try to figure out which ones to shoot on your own. Not that kids can't do that, but that's very freaking hard. Like, even looking it up on the, uh, looking it up online, find the one guy's video, which, again, I'll shout him out. For thanks for the video uh one underline underscore up underscore bros b-o-i-s is the thing i watched from him it showed me how to do it but even watching that it was kind of tricky because if you shot too much and whatnot it's not the hardest thing i've ever done but to have to figure that out on your own seems very unfair uh but overall for story and whatnot I'm going to give it a 4.5. Because like I said, the stuff with the husband, it kind of seemed like she was upset, but they didn't really talk about it. Or if they did, it went over on false ears. And we, we saw the tail end of the relationship. But I felt like there should have been more communication and talking about that stuff instead of yelling and whatnot. But anyways, maybe I... Again, we're, we were in at the end of the relationship, not throughout the middle of the strife and whatnot. So I can only speculate so much. Um, besides that, um, what do we got? We got the characters and whatnot. Yeah, overall, like, gameplay was fun. There was a lot to do. There was more to do than you could get done. Uh, there was a lot of ways to get the, uh, happiness points and money that became redundant at the end. Which, again, I'll give that a five because there was a lot to do. You, d you didn't have to clean, but it gave you a good boost to get battery to get towards the end goal. But... Overall, like I said, I've said many times, I've gushed about this game many times. Definitely, it is a 5 out of, or, yeah, 5 out of 5, uh, 4 out of 5 for me. More 5, though, out of 5. Because it's just the story I really like, the characters are interesting and quirky, the gameplay is very nice and just calming and whatnot. Overall, I think this game would appeal to probably younger demographics, but people who like just simple simulation games probably where you just clean and whatnot, but also want a little bit of story and whatnot. So I think it's a very niche game to people who will actually like it, play it, and complete it, like I have done.
And this is the first game I've completed for the channel, so you know I really like it. <laughs> but overall, pretty good game. Worth the time if you really want to play it, though. There's no newer version of it, which kind of sucks to just get it on uh, GameCube. Or if you're in Japan, you can get it on the Wii with the new Play Plus controls. Which I found out is inter that's interesting. I'll have to look into that and get my own copy of that. But anyways, all in all, 4.5, 5 point, or 4.5 out of 5, more towards 5 out of 5. Because it's just really well, well rounded. Good game that I love. But anyways, that's going to end this stream, Chibi Robo, and the review. So anyways, thank you all my fuzzy gates for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. And if not, well, we're getting to other stuff soon. Uh, next to you, they were starting a new series, hopefully, if the thing flipping works now. But anyways, have a good anytime, my fuzzy eights. Take care.